Hey guys, welcome to the October 2019 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Okay, before we get started, I am so excited to announce that like, I got a code with Keto Crate. Like I've been doing these unboxings for so long and so now it's awesome to be able to share the benefit of a Keto Crate with you guys. So if you use the link down below to subscribe to a Keto Crate or use my code WATCHAUTUMNKETO on the Keto Crate website, you get $10 off your first crate. Okay, you guys know I love the Keto Crate, okay? Sketchy ingredients aside, sometimes I really enjoy the overall purpose of the Keto Crate, which is to provide us, the consumers, an opportunity to sample a wide array of various Keto products. We all know that Keto products can be expensive and shipping can be expensive, and you don't really wanna spend a lot of money ordering a ton of a product that you don't know whether or not you'll like it. So the Keto Crate is just an awesome way to get a sample of everything so that you can know the sort of things you might wanna buy for yourself. And it also includes discounts and other links like that when you actually wanna purchase those products. So I am a huge fan of the Keto Crate. Am I saying that everything they always include is perfect? No. But am I saying that overall, I really do enjoy this product and that's why I've been spending my own money on it for the past year? Yes. But what's even more exciting is this is the Keto Crate I bought with my own money, but ever since I became an influencer, they're gonna send me a free one now. So you know what that means, and oh, we're doing a giveaway. So by commenting on this video, you will be entered in a giveaway drawing, and I'm just gonna ship this thing right to you, fam. Not this one, because this is the one I'm gonna open, but when I get my other one, I'm gonna ship it right to you. So I'm so excited to be able to start a giveaway for you guys every month from now on. But before we get into it, just a reminder, use the link down below or use the code WATCHAUTUMNKETO on the Keto Crate website for $10 off your first crate. Okay, well let's just get into it. And the first thing I see is a BAM meat stick that you know I'm not gonna use. <laughs> Big John's Uncured Pork Bacon Snack Stick. Thank you, Big John. Wonder if he's any relation to Lil John. Yeah! What? Comment down below if you've seen the Dave Chappelle skit. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, Big John's Uncured Bacon Pork Snack Stick. Gluten-free. I don't see the macros on here, but I am not gonna eat this. I'm adding this to the Great Meat Stick Away, which I'm telling you right now will happen in the month of October. I only got about 14 days left, so it is gonna happen. Be on the lookout for the Great Meat Stick Away video. And I gotta get these meat sticks out of my house. You know what I'm talking about? Next, we have Theory of Kombucha Energy. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a raspberry lemonade, caffeine, vitamin B12, probiotic, powder drink mix. Okay. Oh, Kombucha Plus Energy. Okay. Let's see. I can already tell it's like a competitor to Zip Fizz. We all know how I feel about that. Okay, calories 15, total carbs 3, dietary fiber 2, so that's one net carb in this whole thing. Has really good amounts of vitamin C, B12, chromium, and then trace amounts of sodium and potassium. So as where Zip Fizz has tons of potassium, this doesn't. Okay, just as a new way to experience kombucha. I'm not sure if I'm looking for a way to experience kombucha, but I mean, we got a nush cake. I love nush cakes. They're like a bready muffin type snack that I've really come to enjoy. A lot of their flavors are like fruit based, like cherry almond was one of them. And there was another one. Oh, the pineapple one, I'm just not a fan of. But the carrot spice, there is a blueberry that I really like. I mean, they have a ton of flavors that I actually really like. Three net carbs per little cake. Let's see, 180 calories, 14 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, but 10 sugar alcohol and four fiber. So that takes us to three. Five grams of protein. I'm a fan of niche cakes. I'm excited. Oh no, garlic parmesan, all natural gourmet walnuts from Crazy Go Nuts. We all know how I feel about savory nuts. I mean, I'm gonna try these. I love nut snacks. Like, they are great on the go, and they're just great when you're just hunting around wanting to eat something. Uh, just, you know, having a package of random nut snacks is kind of my favorite go to. I can't ever say I've truly been pleased with like the savory flavors, but I'm gonna try it. This container is one serving. There's 22 grams of fat, six total carbs, two fiber. So that's four net carbs for this whole thing, which isn't really bad. Uh, and then five grams of protein. I mean, I'm excited to try these if it's only to like know for sure that I actually hate them. 
We have Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel Golden Turmeric Collagen Peptide Drink Mix. Oh, this is another one where I don't know if I want a savory collagen. I'm sure this is deliciously flavored, but I don't really drink savory drinks, but this is awesome. Uh, so we have two and a half grams of fat, so 70 calories, two and a half grams of fat, two grams total carbs and net carbs, uh, and then 10 grams of protein. I mean, maybe I would mix this in like a chicken stock or something like that, like a bulletproof bone broth. Like, I mean, I could see the use for it. It's just not what I would pick for myself, which is another reason I love the Keto Crate because they expose me to things that I would not naturally pick for myself. Then we have a Ketology Keto Bar, chocolate almond butter. Oh my gosh, you guys. If this is the bar that I tried at KetoCon, this is officially my favorite bar ever. Oh my gosh. You should have seen. <laughs> When me and Cello were at KetoCon, we walked by this booth like seven times. It was almost like, you know, we would put a hat up and then like, we, you know, put, put a mustache and then we would just like change our hair. Like, <laughs> because we had to keep trying these things. They're so good. They taste exactly like those brownies. You know those brownies? I don't know the brand, but they're the little brownies. They're like this big. They have that like indentation in the middle and the two nuts on the side. They kind of look like dominoes but like they taste exactly like that. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. But they weren't on sale at the time of KetoCon. They were like still in development. So like the fact that these are on the market is a game changer for me. I'm definitely gonna go buy some of these. Okay, so for one bar, it's 240 calories, 17 grams of fat, 14 total carbs, 11 fiber. So that's three grams of net carbs and 14 grams of protein. Like. I am so excited right now. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, next we have a pumpkin spice Stoka bar. Look at this. Stoka has done some really different things with their uh, bar creation, their shape, their packaging. Everything is a little different. And I mean, I'm here for it. Like, I'm all about evolution. I love Stoka bars, but I've never had this flavor. I'm not a big, big fan of pumpkin spice things, but... I have them so rarely that I think I could enjoy this. I really liked every other Stoka bar flavor that I've ever had. Plus, in terms of ingredients, Stoka is one of the cleanest out there. For this bar, it is 250 calories, a whopping 22 grams of fat. That is amazing. 17 total carbs, six fiber, that takes us to 11, which puts us at seven sugar alcohols, so we're at four net carbs, and then nine grams of protein. Oh my gosh, I just ate these. We received these in a keto crate like months and months ago and I just ate them so that they wouldn't expire. You know, this stuff is really weird, but I, I like it for some reason. This is Keto Farms Keto Snack Mix. So the first time I had these was also at KetoCon, um, but it's like a mix of like cheese, nut, and fruit. So this one is their strawberry Gouda. So you get fruit and cheese mixed with sprouted pecans and almonds. I'm not really the biggest fan of like dried fruit and things like that and fruit as desserts in general, but for some reason it really works. Like if you take one of each, like you take a piece of strawberry, you take a piece of Gouda, you take a, you know, a nut piece, you pop it in there, like it really works. Like it's tart, but it's salty and it's like savory. I am a fan, so I'm excited to see this repeater in the Keto Crate. Oh my gosh, sea salt and cracked black pepper pork rinds from Southern Recipe Small Batch. I've recently become a huge fan of pork rinds lately, so I'm actually really excited that they're included in uh, this keto crate. I've never had this flavor, but I do see these on sale at Meyer. I've never picked them up uh, just because I like the Meyer brand pork rinds. But once again, I'm glad that they were included in the keto crate because now I'll get a chance to try them in a small sample size without committing to the whole bag. So for this package, 130 calories, eight grams of fat, one gram of carb, and then 14 grams of protein. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not here for the fact that like, one, two, three, four, the fourth ingredient is maltodextrin. I don't really know why, you know, what's happening there, but if it fits your macros, no judgment here. Quavos. Okay, now these I'm also excited to try because I've seen these in like some other like keto boxes and stuff like that. They are chips made from egg whites. Sour cream and onion flavor. Yeah, like 
I'm always here for like a new chip alternative or a crunchy flavored snack. So I, it's the keto version if you didn't know. So, so I'm looking forward to these. For one bag, there are 140 calories, eight grams of fat, nine total carbs, six fiber. So that's three grams of net carbs and 10 grams of protein. Yeah, it's just like a, a protein chip, but I think they put more of the focus on egg whites than like the milk protein powder. But like either way, I'm excited to have these. All right, then we have Pro Puffs chocolate. Okay, you guys, these look exactly like Cocoa Puffs. Like, I don't know if you could see that, but oh my God. What, could you imagine if they tasted like Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> um, these are just chocolate uh, protein puffs. I'm assuming they have a similar texture to all the other protein puffs out there, which is not the texture of <laughs> a cocoa puff, but I am excited to see sweet flavors. I really do like that. You know, a lot of times like with shrewd food, you have like cheese puff and pizza and things like that. So I'm very excited to try these. Let's see, serving size is one pouch. That's what I'm talking about because I would definitely eat this pouch in one sitting. Nine grams of fat, nine total carbs, one gram of fiber and three grams of allulose. So that takes us to five grams of net carbs. Yeah, five grams net carbs. I mean, that's kind of a lot, but for like a, a dessert type thing, you know, I think that's on par with what you're gonna spend if you were gonna eat a bar or something like that. Uh, and then 25 grams of protein. So this is definitely a protein snack, but I don't know. I would probably try a few of these as is, maybe see if I could pour some milk on top of them and get my Cocoa Puffs Life, but I've never seen these before, so I am glad that they are included in the crate. Oh, I'm also very excited about these Revel snacks. I've seen these on Instagram too, but I've never had them. They are double dark chocolate coconut bites with ganache filling, what? For two bites, there are 125 calories, 12 grams of fat, eight total carbs, five fiber, and two erythritol. Does that put us at one net carb? What? One net carb per two bites. I am here for that. Let's see what the ingredients are. Coconut, almonds, coconut oil, organic dark cacao, erythritol, chicory root fiber, cocoa powder. Yeah, this just seems like a no-bake cookie and I am pumped to be able to try these. All right, and finally, oh, whoa, this is heavy. We have some noodles. Okay, so these are natural cognac, low calorie uh, noodles. These are just like miracle noodles, miracle rice, things like that. Um, to be honest, uh, oh, chicken flavor. Oh, well that might change something. Um, to be honest, I don't really eat these a lot because I don't miss spaghetti or noodles or things like that. Uh, and then with all the work you have to do, like you have to rinse them off and then dry them out and then rehydrate them and all that stuff. I mean, I don't buy these. It's not because I don't like them. It's just because I don't need them as part of my lifestyle but the fact that they are included here for free, I might need to have some noodles tonight. You know what I'm talking about? The, the usages, as this package calls them. Drain off liquid, rinse and scrub the plain noodles under running water, add the flavoring packet. Oh, so this is like ramen. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Add one cup of hot water, mix and enjoy. Now that's an interesting concept. Okay, so this whole thing is one serving. I mean, this is a lot. There are 96 calories, seven grams of fat, nine total carbs, five of them are fiber, so that's four net carbs and one gram of protein. I mean, this is not bad for the girth of this bag right here. Okay guys, that is it for this month. Overall, I am very excited. A couple of things that I know I love and a couple of things that I've been wanting to try and a couple of things I never heard of. I mean, that is the best mix of products that you can hope for in a keto crate. Okay, let me know in the comments down below, what have you tried and loved and what would you be most excited to try in this keto crate? Your comment once again enters you to win the drawing of your very own October keto crate. I'll be drawing that sometime next week. Also, don't forget, you can use the link in the description below or you can use my code WATCHAUTUMNKETO to get $10 off your first keto crate. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.